Hi, welcome to my tips and tricks. My name is Brett Combs. I'm an applications engineer from the Richmond, Virginia office. Today we're going to be discussing when you should use text and thread within a design. Now, using your text and your thread commands, it's a great way to add detail to a design, but you could be adding unnecessary rebuild times to those files. We're going to take a look at the difference between having a text and thread within a design and having it without. Now, one way I can evaluate this process is with the Evaluates button, the Performance Evaluation command. Then what this will do is it, it breaks your feature tree down into where SOLIDWORKS is spending the most amount of time rebuilding. You can see, obviously, the thread is the number one culprit with 86% of the rebuild time, which would make sense since this is a complex feature, right? What you're doing is basically sweeping around a helix, which is uh, a pretty complex uh, process. Now, the second guy on our list would be our text, which also would make sense because the amount of detail uh, in the sketch that goes into making that text is, is pretty tedious. Now, prior to 2016, when the thread tool was created in SOLIDWORKS, designers you know, gener generally wouldn't be making their thread unless you really wanted to simulate the results on whether your threads are going to withstand pressure, or maybe if you were doing a, a 3D print job and you'd want that geometry of that thread to be present within your design. Let's go ahead and save this as an STL file so we can see the differences in the amount of triangles it takes to make up this detail. Let's do a file save as and then change the file type to an STL. And you can see SOLIDWORKS, it takes 27,000 triangles and the file size is about 1.3 million bytes with our text and our threads turned on. Well, let's make a configuration of this with those features suppressed. So let's come over to my configuration manager and just add a simplified configuration where I suppressed both my threads and my text. Now, I still understand what I'm trying to communicate, right? I know this is still a bolt. Now, instead of having the geometry of the thread on there, I could just use the cosmetic thread tool to add the metadata associated to the threading. And the cosmetic thread will put cosmetic threads on the stem and then embed the metadata associated to the machine threads for your machinist. So you can call that out in the drawing. Let's do a save as and see what it looks like as an STL file. So you can see there's a pretty big significant change, about 27,000 graphical triangles less. And instead of 1.3 million bytes, our file size is only 13,000 bytes. I hope you enjoyed my tips and tricks on when to use threads and text and when not to. If you have any questions about this video or any other SOLIDWORKS related items, please reach out.